welcome back to the channel you guys are gonna come along with us on our pumpkin patch date we actually went to three different pumpkin patches and as you saw the first one we're at is sea cap and that's located in rochester minnesota so the first part of the video we'll go to sea cap then we'll go to one in byron minnesota and then we'll finish off at one in orinoco minnesota Oh, so please pumpkin. Why did we choose this one? Why did we choose it again? Because it's round and, yet, and his color. And it's little. Little like him? Yeah. I have grass in the way. We'll put it up on the stem. Oh. Oh, good idea. At each pumpkin patch, we tried to take a little cute photo. They didn't all turn out very well. The lighting wasn't very great in this one. But we also tried to be funny and I tried to give birth to a pumpkin. As you can see right now, we're trying to find the perfect little baby pumpkin. Next, we ran into this big sand pit full of old cars. And it was just kind of sad because you look at them and you see what was once the most shiny, bright new car probably wrapped underneath a Christmas tree waiting for a kid to just open it up and fill them with joy are now just rusty old toys rotting away in a sand pit. Okay, on another note, we went over to the kind of front end of the pumpkin patch and they had like this little farmer's market. And we looked for something that we could use in our next video for the cooking series that's on my channel as well. I'll put it up on the screen. We did end up buying some of the eggplants and making eggplant parmesan casserole. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, a lot of people have different names for it, but if you want to see that cooking series video, you can go to the video that's on the screen. And after we purchased our little Davis. farmer market goods, we so went on to the next pumpkin patch. How many do we need? We were a little shocked at how kind of run down this pumpkin patch was, but maybe they just had a big crowd the other day and just got really crazy and busy. We don't know, but we did have a little hard time finding it. It kind of seems like it's a normal person's driveway and it's tucked behind some woods and nobody was there. So you have to just like leave money in a jar, I think, and purchase your pumpkins that way. There was a dog also that kept barking at us. Didn't seem very friendly. And they had a sign that said, beware of the cats, don't pet them, they'll scratch you. <laughs> Dylan, did you find your pumpkin? I guess. I guess. I'm sorry about it, I'll pay for it, don't worry. Um, let's see, compare it to your head. Dude, it's bigger than your head. No, it is. My head's <laughs>
duro. <laughs> That's obviously. I don't know why is he playing in his food dish. Dude, he loves it. He's so Dylan, how do you find a good pumpkin? You usually don't find a good pumpkin. You just get what's left. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot left, though. This has got to be big and round. Like this one. Oh, that one doesn't sit right. Okay, not that one. That's not. This one seems really round. Yeah, and they look like they get always really flat. Like it, really yeah, like an eight dollar, you're probably right. It's okay, you're kind of odd, so like you can have an odd pumpkin. <laughs> Why is it so hard to get a good pumpkin? Well, get the one that you said that you like without the stem. Ooh, that's like the perfect little stem on there. Should we go on live and ask people which pumpkin we should get? Like go live? Yeah. Why do you like that pumpkin, Ellie? I like it because it's kind of taller and skinnier than the rest of the pumpkins. And we're trying to find pumpkins that match our body type. <laughs> <laughs> You're not very tall, dude. Go stand over by that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> the measuring thing. Come on, This is you. And that's the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> no. What are, how are we picking pumpkins? Um, we're picking them that kind of represent our body type. What? Yeah, this Why would... kind of thinner, taller. You know? Yeah, real tall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Why is mine like that? Because you have a really big personality. Oh, oh personality types too. Okay. Yeah. There, look okay. it. I feel like you can only Why see parts. Why is my take up the whole screen? <laughs> Block me off. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen. Whatever, is that good? It's no. Crooked. And it's not, it, you need more of the ground. <laughs> You're not even gonna be able to see us. Getting old, huh? Thirty dollar pumpkin. Actually, fifteen. Ten. She gave it for it to you for ten because you're cute. That's fair. Eventually, we decided to carve our pumpkins. Here's Dylan carving his pumpkin, and then in a little bit, you'll see a photo. Don't judge me for how I carve my pumpkin. My little niece, Eleanor, drew that face. Um, and then at the end, we'll have Eleanor pick her favorites. Okay, which, <laughs> which do you think got second place? Uh, the next favorite. Wow. Okay, <laughs> third place. 
Allie, don't make her do it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's a good one. That's a good one. That sucks. She did draw it. She did draw it. <laughs> mm, that was a good, uh, that's a good, that's a good hit to the self-esteem. <laughs> Allie, let's take a picture by that one. 